Hi, welcome again, episode 4, uh, September 29, <clears throat> and uh, we're having a, uh, another week, of course, a little bit later this week because I've had some other uh, background noises here, so I had to wait a couple of hours, and now on the con uh, <clears throat> I get some better lighting here, that, since it's not morning anymore, and we have a kind of a bright day here today. So I wanted to mention uh, from last week, we got that, you know, I mentioned the SECT conference video, uh, the conference talk that I had some comments about. So we saw the video, it was posted last week and I've updated my blog post about it. I don't wanna get back to that again, but you can find the link somewhere here. <clears throat> uh, and I finally, 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 finally landed my patch for the Firefox bug 939.318. And I did a pretty lengthy blog post about it, explaining how what, what it does. To, to put it really, really short, it is about discovering when the network changes while Firefox is running and kind of flush caches and, and uh, react to, to the new conditions. So that kind of when you switch from another, from one Wi-Fi to another Wi-Fi perhaps, or you switch on or off VPN or whatever, so that the network changes quite drastically. So the browser has to, notice that and then kind of flush DNS cache perhaps and uh, uh, redo a few connections and so on. <clears throat> so I did pretty big <clears throat> landing of that for Windows only. There's been another follow-up bug called 1024614, which is for Android and it's been landed too. So, so hopefully the Android uh, browser is also better at this now. And I'm working, starting now to work on the um, Firefox OS and the Linux approaches <clears throat> to do the same thing, basically, since the uh, the underlying technologies that actually discover that the network has changed is pretty platform specific. So I had to kind of write the, the platform specific parts for each platform. <clears throat> I started with Windows and yeah, moving on from there. Uh, I wanted to mention also that I'm at, while I am actually still maintaining and kind of leading the, the, the uh, open source projects called CARES or CARES and the, and the LibSSH2, and I still participate on those mailing lists and I get occasional questions about them, I do want to emphasize that they are projects I don't really spend a lot of time on these days. So if you, if you want to participate if you want to help out and if you want to contribute with stuff there and send patches or suggestions or whatever do that but please try to you know, consider me my part there as uh, smaller than before <clears throat> otherwise in the in the HTTP 2 land this week as about uh, as uh, pretty much last week and I believe the last week before that too uh, the discussion is pretty fiercely going on around the the TLS requirements or not, or rather if HTTP2 should put requirements on the TLS cipher selection or specification kind of require that, yeah, you have to have this in this uh, uh, cipher suite to be able to speak HTTP2 over TLS. There's kind of the camp that says you shouldn't do that and the other camp that says that, well, while we're at it, we should at least make sure that we have a better protocol over TLS. And that is ongoing. <clears throat> so if you participate in the HTTP, HTTP BIS mailing list, you'll immediately find that thread and it will, yeah, keep on going for a while longer, I believe. I don't really know where it, that will end. <clears throat> I wanted to mention that, um, I, I spoke about the XBMC bug last week, about the libperl had a very peculiar bug with XBMC. And we found it, we fixed it, and we have shipped a patch. I committed it to Git, pushed it to Git in the code repo, and I know that at least Debian has already um, pushed out a new um, package of curl. I believe Arc Linux is where the, the guys found it from the beginning, so possibly they also have another release out or package out. Uh, I also kind of spoke up on the apps discuss mailing list within the IETF about the file URI spec. Some people are trying to bring up the old file colon URI definition, how such URIs should be written or, or how to do it and how to parse it. 
and that is a pain. It's not really been defined since RFC 1738. And since then it's been, um, everyone has kind of made some weird ideas about it. In curl, we have, uh, we, we support file colon URLs. We have 9% of our users say the use file as a, as a protocol. So I wanted to just mention what I think about that. I think we should make the URI spec more strict rather than trying to support everything that everyone has ever thought it should do. <clears throat> but we'll see. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. I think um, I think that's a Pandora's box. I, I'm not sure that people will actually want to spend a lot of time and waste energy on that. We'll see. Uh, right, and I wanted to mention that um, <clears throat> the most popular page on the curl website kind of interestingly and it has been like this for several months is the crcert.pm file which is a, it's a file that we automatically convert from the mozilla repositories it is actually the crcert collection the bundle of, of certs for from all the cas that mozilla trusts converted to pem format offered on, on the curl website it's amazingly popular. It's being downloaded at the rate of about six or seven hundred thousand times per month since uh, yeah, since a while back. I believe there is some tool or something that does this automatically. I don't I don't think these are all humans just clicking on the link. <clears throat> oh well, I've also kind of started and not really made it public or official or really uh, gone all the way yet started to ponder about doing a curl t-shirt or possibly also some curl stickers. I want to do it. And I had some generous offers about sponsorship for this, but I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm a lousy designer, so I really can't do this myself, but yeah, with some help. And I started to think about this and, and uh, then I have to make an effort to write up uh, and this and, possibly have some contest or just ask someone. But but if you have ideas or if you have a you want if you have any great design in mind, throw it in and we might do something. I don't know. <clears throat> I also wanted to um, just like this before I sign off for this week, mention that please don't email me privately about my open source projects. This really I don't want to do it like that. I want it when, when we do an open source project, we do it in the public, open source style. It's not my projects. I, I, I may be part of them. I may be do a lot of stuff in the projects, but I want to do it in the public. So even if you know my address and everyone can find it, I, I, wanna, I want you to post your suggestions, ideas, questions, whatever, on the mailing list so everyone can see and participate. That's the much better way to do it. And I know that you know it. And I know that mostly people do this to find a sure. Oh, by the way, I just have just a quick question. Can I ask you blah, blah, blah. But no, it's much better to do it in the public. Maybe I don't have to answer. Maybe I can answer and, and no hundred people can read the response and all can appreciate it. Who knows? <clears throat> uh, well, that's about it for this week, I believe. Uh, what's going to happen the next week coming up? Yeah, I'm going to work on this uh, network chain stuff for Firefox OS and, uh, and Linux for Firefox. And in curl, I'm always in this position that I have a lot of ideas I want to do. And week after week, I uh, come up with myself not having done enough this week. So yeah, I have this constant uh, nagging feeling that I'm not doing enough. So yeah, I have a lot. I have a pile of patches to review and comment on and I have a lot of work to do um, development work that I still have pending then there should be two stuff I've mentioned before and I want to really get on with that but um, I'm going very long this week again so I'm gonna try to cut it now any questions feedback uh, whatever ask me Pos the best way of course is to just comment on this video and uh, otherwise you can just do it somehow. Otherwise you can find me on IRC or on Twitter or whatever. See you next week.